Hi guys, welcome to the Scan Tool Network. In this video, we're going to be taking a closer look at the iCarsoft BMM version 3.0. And it's basically a closer look and telling you everything that you need to know before you go ahead and buy, or maybe 21 questions and answers about this particular product. So let's take a look to see what's in the box before we get into the vehicle. This is everything that you can expect to see in the box. We've got the protective box here. We've got a carry pouch here, which allows you to put the tool inside and all of the cables. Uh, we've got a cable which connects from the tool itself to the vehicle, the OBD2 cable. This cable will allow you to hook the tool up to the uh, PC or laptop in order to update the software. This is just a really basic operating guide. Uh, you won't get too much technical information in this, but it is there all the same. And obviously this is the tool itself. So we're in a BMW 3 Series and we do have a few warning lights on the dashboard of this vehicle. I'll come to those in a moment. We have the main power cable plugged one end into the top of the tool here the other end is plugged in in the diagnostic port down there okay so um, what is the BMM version 3.0 to someone who just literally hasn't got a clue what this tool is uh, it's a it's a, an OBD2 DIY multi-system scan tool which allows you to um, do resets yourself so it'll allow you to read fault codes, clear fault codes, uh, erase warning lights, do certain service functions on your vehicle that would previously need to be carried out by a specialist or your local uh, BMW dealer. So it puts the power in your hand and it allows you to carry out certain functions, uh, has certain features that you can do on your driveway or uh, in the garage of your own home so it's really really convenient if you're to get one of these now where can you buy this tool I'd recommend using the link in the description below this video there are fakes there are clones out there unfortunately and if you want to make sure you get a 100% official genuine product use the links in the description because we will only link to the genuine products uh, we we'll completely forget about the fakes unfortunately because they are they will cause a lot of trouble and a lot of problems for owners of these vehicles um, so how much is the tool? Generally you'll expect to pay between sort of 190 to 200 pounds That's the going rate at the time of making this video um, But you know those prices may fluctuate they may go up they may go down depending on the market uh, Depending on the cost to produce etc. There's lots of different variants, but generally between 190 and 200 pounds Now how is the tool powered? It's powered by this cable here this cable takes uh, runs into the diagnostic port and it takes its power from the vehicle battery so it doesn't have an internal battery so if you were to remove this cable here the screen would go completely blank you can power it up outside of the vehicle by connecting a USB cable to it and running one end of the cable in the bottom here and the other end into your laptop or PC uh, so what manufacturers are covered well you're looking at BMW mini and Rolls-Royce probably not many people are going to be getting it for a Rolls-Royce but there we go and uh, what systems are covered basically the tool will cover every system that it can get access to within this vehicle um, so one thing I want to tell you is when I'm going through the menu system here it is a little bit slow at the moment we have been assured by iCarsoft that an update is on the way to make this uh, this a lot quicker but if I click on to auto identity it's going to automatically identify the vehicle and then it will show us a list of systems that we can actually diagnose. Uh, so it's telling us it takes about half a minute here. So we'll just let that run. But yeah, I mean, I've been speaking to the iCarsoft um, engineers and they say they are aware that it's a bit slow. They're currently working on a newer software version, which will just make this whole process a lot quicker and a lot more seamless. Um, but for the purpose of this video, you know, all I can do is work with what I have and that is pretty slow-ish tool but it'll still get the job done uh, you just maybe need to wait an extra sort of 10-15 seconds than you than you normally would elsewhere okay so it's read the, the read the VIN number let's click F1 and it's going to then present us with a few options we'll click on to control unit you can do a quick test that basically allows you to uh, the the scan tool to do a scan of the whole vehicle or you can just scan the, the exact system which you wish to diagnose so I'm going to click on control unit and it's found 19 systems that will definitely allow us to uh, be diagnosed so what we need to do is again this is where I'm seeing it's a little bit slow because as I'm scrolling through you would expect it to be a lot quicker than this and it will be once the new update is here but for the purpose of this video and while I'm making this video it is unfortunately just a bit slow so I'm going to go on through and show you 
these are the systems that you can diagnose but ultimately it's always going to cover your main systems like engines airbags abs transmission um, but then if you've got other systems like power steering uh, dynamic stability control chassis system the motor electronics which is the engine um, lots of different electronic systems within these cars it all really depends on what you've got fitted to that car um, so those are the systems that it'll really cover. It class it as an all system scan tool, so it'll do all of your, your parking sensors and things like that. Um, and what what uh, special functions are included well I'll come to that in a second because I'm in this sec this section here and obviously it takes a bit of time to go in and out uh, I'm going to show you the type of information it'll give you when when you've got a fault code so uh, let's say for example we're using this one here the digital diesel electronics that is the engine system so I'm just going to click onto that and I'm going to click on to read fault code so it's reading the fault codes and it's telling us freezing data are being read again that is a probably a caption which should be changed because it doesn't really make much sense uh, what it really means is the the fault codes are being read but again this is where the tool is a little bit slow right now I promise you this will speed up and it will be a lot quicker once the software is uh, is corrected Incidentally, this is a check engine light on the vehicle, so that's what we're accessing right now. Uh, we did trigger this check engine light, so I'm going to show you the fault codes that you will expect when you do have a, a check engine light of your own. And now uh, what we'll try and do is we'll try and get this reset with this tool here and now as well. We'll also do the same with the airbag light because the airbag light was also triggered by us for the purpose of this video. So it's telling us fault currently not present. That's because we, we simply unclicked clipped a mass airflow sensor and we've popped it back in so if the airflow sensor was still unconnected uh, it would be present but it's it's telling us it's not present so it's basically giving us a bit of information about the fault it's giving us a fault code as well and then that's the second one as well so if you were unsure what any of this meant honestly put it into Google and that will give you the answer because a lot more people will have had it as well so if I click on to clear fault memory erasing the fault codes operation done and you see the check engine light has gone there so we just come out of this section and then we'll try and find the airbag system as well so it's really just giving you an, uh, an idea about what you can expect to see on screen when you do have a fault code as well uh, where is it there it is it's listed as AC, <coughs> excuse me ACSM crash safety module so we'll go to read fault code And this time it's got three fault codes stored so unfortunately it's going to take three times as long I do apologize well I'm trying to think if there's anything else I can cover while we're doing this um, while I'm waiting for this sorry it's not a touch screen um, a lot of people ask the thing is to touch screen but it's not you do need to use the buttons on the side uh, how do you update the tool you need to update the tool by uh, hooking it up to a PC or laptop um, the there's a, a website which is all explained in the user manual which shows you exactly how to do an update but an update is really quick it's really simple to do probably only takes about from the start of if you've already got the software installed it takes literally two or three minutes if you're starting from scratch and you need to install the software probably about 10 minutes but don't worry about that okay so we've got fault codes here so again we've got the fault code at the top we've got the description of the fault as well so that's one two three again fault not present that's because we simply unclipped the connector underneath the driver's seat when we put it back in as well so it's telling us hmm, that's strange because the fault's not present but uh, we've got the airbag light there we go to clear fault memory erasing the codes erase operation done and the airbag light has gone so again <coughs> that's really really useful and it's done exactly what it's supposed to do so when it comes to live data what information will it give uh, it gives lots of different live data and probably won't be able to show you it all in this particular video but it gives live data on all systems so the main one you probably look at is the engine system so if we click on to that system there we go to clear data you can also do actuation tests in this particular one as well uh, diagnosis request I'm not sure how long this is going to take bearing in mind the amount of time it took us to read basic fault codes all right so you can just click F2 for all and then F1 for done so it's going to now show us lists of 
live data. Hopefully we'll get to see some live data here and now. Okay, so I'm gonna scroll down and sorry about the um, <clears throat> the slowness of it all but it's got 95 here so it would take me an absolute age to go through everything so I'm not going to do that um, but it gives you live data on sort of all, all two sensors all of the sensors in the vehicle um, the throttle position sensors the mass airflow sensors as I say the O2 sensors it'll give you DPF data DPF live data as well suit contents and things like that um, so that is oil pressures gives you temperatures as well of like your transmissions uh, engine temperatures so the air mass status ambient pressures throttle values air intake swirl flap air intake temperatures position sensors so, so it gives you an idea of exactly what you can expect live data wise um, when I talked about the updates earlier on, uh, there is a question is sometimes people think you have to pay to update, but you'll always get free updates with this particular tool. I'll come out of this. Uh, you get free updates with the tool, and it covers other things like actuation test, it covers certain coding aspects. I'll come in a second. Transmission adapt adaption, suspension adaption, engine adaption. Uh, in fact, what I'll do is I'll come out of this completely and we'll go into the service menu just to show you what it will do service wise. So if we go to service, oil service reset, electronic park and brake open and close, battery registration, electronic throttle control, steering angle sensor, DPF reset and regeneration, ABS brake bleeding, injector coding, TPMS reset, body stability, engine adaption, transmission adaption, idle engine uh, and other as well. And as I say, it does like suspension, uh, if you have a, an air suspension system installed into the vehicle, it all really depends on what's installed into the vehicle. Um, but how does it compare to the version 1.0 and the version 2.0? Uh, I would say this is definitely the more advanced tool because this has more service options, um, it has more functionality, so you are going to pay a bit more, but if you wanted to get the most out of your a tool for your BMW or Mini, then I would say, yeah, go for the 3.0 kit, which does have um, just that little bit of extra functionality uh, should you need it uh, where can you get help or support you need to contact the people you bought it from um, they will have quick links to iCarsoft engineers so that is what I'd recommend for that one um, can it print faults yes it can print faults you need to save the data you need to you need to record the data you need to review the data click on the review option and then it, you can uh, get the information take the the card out and put it into your computer and that way you can print it it's not exactly the most user-friendly it's not the quickest way to do things but it can be done uh, if you so wish languages when it comes to languages it does have have different languages installed so English German Dutch French Spanish um, the, we, we mentioned the box with instructions earlier on it shows you everything that's included in the box would I recommend this to somebody else who has little or no experience I would say absolutely yes you can't go wrong you can't do any damage to the tool you can't do any damage to the vehicle so if you've got little or zero experience at all, you get the exact same results as somebody who's been using these tools for years. So how about that? It, it gives you an idea of how simple these tools are and you just follow it through step by step, uh, button by button, click by click. Uh, what about the other icon menu and the icons on the screen so with the, we've got the voltage option here uh, and this just gives a live voltage option minimums and maximums from this test uh, this allows you to diagnose and reset check engine faults in any other vehicle other than a BMW uh, this allows you to view back data that you that you've previously recorded uh, DTC lookup so you can look up a particular fault code you can enter a fault code and see what the meaning is uh, this is a little bit of setup just put the buzzer on and off, on and off uh, clear data factory reset language etc uh, but a help it gives you just a bit of uh, sort of instructions or guides on what OBD2 means uh, etc just basically explaining what diagnostics is all about and then we go to uh, the about so this gives us the serial number the uh, password code and the particular software versions which are installed into the uh, the tool itself 
and that in a nutshell is it double does it double up as a tablet some tools do this one doesn't this isn't a tablet based tool so this does not double up as a tablet and how fast is delivery delivery is generally one to three working days so um, I hope that's answered some of your questions I hope it's been helpful I hope it has um, maybe answer the question as to whether this tool is going to be suitable for you and your needs or not remember it you know it does all of your systems so it'll do all of your engines abs airbags transmission it'll do uh, a lot of coding options it'll do adaptions actuation tests uh, transmission adaption suspension engine adaption uh, if you're putting a new abs or airbag module in the car you can adapt it to the vehicle and so it's uh, it's a, it's a highly recommended tool it's better than the version 1 or the version 2.0 uh, tools. It's important to remember that the version 1.0 and the version 2.0 tools, they are still current tools. This doesn't uh, replace those tools. Uh, there are three tools. It just gives you three different levels of functionality. Uh, remember, if you are interested in the tools, make sure you use the links in the description below this video because unfortunately there are fakes, there are clones on the market and they will, they will cause damage to your vehicle and they will not work properly. So it's very important that you use the links and uh, just, just to make sure you get for peace of mind that you get a, a genuine and official product in your hand. Uh, thank you very much for watching and uh, we'll see you soon with more diagnostic tool reviews and guides.